Republican Party of Minnesota forgot to put Donald Trump on Minnesota ballot, scrambling to fix it. The Republican Party of Minnesota finds itself in a pickle. It's their fault. Earlier this year at the state Republican convention Duluth, the party picked its 10 electoral college voters. The state party was also supposed to choose 10 alternate electoral college names. It didn't. Therein lies the problem. What could have been an in-house mess went public yesterday, when blogger and former Republican Party of Minnesota official Michael Broadcorb noticed that something didn't look right about the Secretary of State's sample ballot. Donald Trump wasn't on it. The sample ballot online will generally lead to what's on the general election ballot, Broadcorb tells City Pages. The reason Trump's name wasn't coming up on the Minnesota Secretary of State website was because the Republican Party of Minnesota had not submitted this paperwork, which is due Monday. He's right. By August 29th, both major political parties must submit the requisite paperwork to the Minnesota Secretary of State's office so that their respective presidential candidates appear on the ballot. This information by law must include the presidential candidate's name as well as that of the vice president, the names of the party's 10 Minnesota presidential electors, and the 10-person list of alternates. According to the RPM bylaws, all 20 electors must be chosen by at a state party convention. The thing that happened back in May.